Hey guys, Fuzzy here. Some basics before we start. Aim, fire, reload. Aiming is the act of pointing the muzzle in the right direction. Firing is the act of releasing the projectile towards the confirmed target. And reloading is allowing yourself to do the first two steps again. Simple. But noticing what the pattern is, reloading is our most important part. Because the faster it is, the more shots you can fire. Which increases the chances of a win during PvP. We have three ranged weapons in the game. Each has a specialty. The Eye of Reach relies on high accuracy and range. Blunderbuss is close encounters, clutch moments, and rage quitting. The pistol relies on agility, which means quick movement and decisions. Depending on your playstyle, you can choose the gun. And as you all know, I'm a pistol person for a very long time. In an older video, I highlighted several pistol types and skins, how to improve your aim and which pistol would be best for you. In this video, I will cover hipfire and how no scope works with the flintlock. It is essential to watch the aiming video before getting into this one, as understanding the offset of your pistol of choice will have a significant effect on your no scope skills. On a quick note, only 16% of my viewers were subscribers. Upon rechecking my analytics, it's up to 30%, which is a fantastic growth and shows lots of improvement. So I want to thank you so much for being a subscriber. But if you haven't yet and feel like supporting my channel, please consider subscribing. The pistol has the fastest reload time, so it is an advantage over the other guns. And since pistol offers great hip fire flexibility, which means getting your shots without the use of aiming or a scope, why don't we exclude aiming? It will make the previously mentioned three steps only two, which will make our reload time even faster. By studying how hip fire works on the flintlock, you will be able to hit the target most of the time at a much quicker rate than other guns. I have divided the no scope range into two zones, high chance and low chance. Allow me to demonstrate. By revisiting my favorite island to practice, Crescent Isle, I have found the right distance to no scope, what to do if you are close and how to shoot if you are at a range. First, we need to familiarize our perspective and get used to the right distance to no scope, as too far will only waste your bullets, and also close will get you in the danger zone. Head over to the bullseye, get your compass out and walk back a few steps. Now due to the random aim of no scope, the further you are, the more you will miss. Keep in mind, walking backward with a compass gives shorter steps than forward, so do not test this walking away from the target facing forward. When you reach your position, aim at the center of the bullseye so you can adjust your character's heading. As you can see, at 5 steps backwards, all bullets were within range. At 10 steps, we had one miss. And at 15, all bullets were a miss. So somewhere between the 10 and 5 steps, we have our best spot. Now we need to find that spot and measure the furthest distance where all bullets hit the target. By learning that, we will always be able to stay at a safe distance from our enemies while shooting them at quick intervals using hip fire. The closer we got from 15, the more hits we got. Until we reach 6 steps. Practice your range from the bullseye and try to keep a distance from other players within that range. As you can see in my stream, that's how I usually get the enemy down. I call this the 6 step scope. Yep, I just made up this name for the video but you have to name it something. It's the center of our zones. The closer is a high chance, the further is a low chance. In my opinion, it's the best place to fight the enemy. It is too close for an eye of reach, but also far for a blunderbuss, as when you aren't aiming, your character moves much faster since you are relying on hip fire. A person running towards you will have a hard time aiming, and when they do, their movement is slowed down, which gives you an easier target to shoot. You'll need to get shot at least 3 times to die by a blunder from a 6 step scope, assuming you do not heal in between. Don't forget that the faster reload time that you have will probably get them while they are still on their first reload. Now let's say you are at a further distance than 6 steps, which is the low chance zone. Most bullets will fly away, but there is one thing you can do that will get all your shots to be on the spot. But the reason why I use it as a second option, it has a slightly slower reload rate. And remember, a pistol is all about speed, and we have to optimize that as much as we can. By holding down the aim button after the first shot, you can fire again precisely where your previous bullet was. So it's more like an aim that you cannot see in the animation, but upon testing, it does take slightly longer than a real no scope. So always keep this one as a second option. As mentioned, all guns have their pros and cons. If you manage to keep an average of 6 steps away from your opponent, you will always be at an advantage against other guns. Of course, you cannot count while you're fighting other enemies, but it's more of something to get used to while you fight. If you meet another player with the same strategy, then you have to practice and be more pirate. I have recently become a Twitch partner, 
and with that, lots of new and exciting content is coming to my stream. My streams are every Sunday, Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. GMT. You can follow me there and I will be happy to answer your questions. Fuzzy here, thank you for watching and happy aiming. Uh, do you know Twitch? Yes. Can you type my name on Twitch? Okay, bro. <laughs> Just do that now. <laughs> do that now. Everyone's saying they love you because you're such an awesome person. Oh. That's how I said that I love baguettes earlier. Because I have French people in the chat telling me how to talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fun. I can speak I French, German, Hungarian, uh, uh. Finnish, anything you want. <laughs> With a little help from his viewers. <laughs> Thank How's you, he man. watching now? See, wave, wave to them. I'm the cameraman. Say hi, mom. Hi, mom. Say hi, mom. I'm on, I'm on TV. 